I'm Dati. Welcome to the channel. On this channel, we help you solve your mathematics questions. Let's look at a few questions on cone. The figure shows a cone whose upper part has been cut off. The base radius is 6 cm and the upper radius is 3 cm. If the height of the remaining portion is 4 cm, calculate correct to the nearest whole number, the volume of the original cone and the remaining portion so our pi is 20 over 7 so this has been given us something like that so what we need to do is to draw a completed version of that cone now the radius here is 3 centimeters and the one here is 6 <laughs> so the radius down is 6 centimeters now our height here is but we don't know the one we just drawn so if we are using if everything here is the height which is h then the top here is h minus 4 I would ask cool. so we are using we assume the whole height of the cone is h 4 has been given as the down part so what you would need to do is to subtract the 4 from this h to get h minus 4 to, for the remaining portion or the upper part now so from here we're going to lay some foundations in order to find our h so we're going to have a, if i take the whole of the the whole height of the cone which is h and i divide it by the upper part the height for the upper part that should give me the whole radius that should give me the whole radius over the radius of the small part how that's cool so from here we will do cross multiplication so 3h is equal to 6 into h minus 4 we are trying to find the height which is h so 3h is equal to 6h minus 24 so from here we we'll group like terms 3h minus 6h is equal to negative 24 so this will give me negative 3h equal to negative 20 equal to negative 24 i'll divide through by negative 3 so my negative here will be gone so uh, my h is 8 centimeters so the first question is the volume of the original cone we know volume of a cone to be one third of pi r squared pi r squared h so my volume will be one third times 22 over 7 times the radius of the bigger side or the original cone is 6 squared the height is what i got to be 8 centimeters so my v equals so when you do that everything should give you 301 point seven one four cm cube that's good so the next is to find the volume of the remaining portion after the top has been cut off but you can't just go straight forward to find the volume of the remaining portion so what you need to do is to find the volume of the small portion which has been cut off so i will need the volume of the small portion again the formula is pi squared h so that's one third the pi is still the same 22 over 7 but the radius of the smaller portion is 3 so 3 squared the height of the smaller portion don't forget is h minus 4 and our h is 8 so 8 minus 4 that should give you 4 so when you do that the answer for the small portion is 37.714 37.714 cm cube now you will not come and subtract you subtract this answer from the answer for the original volume of the cone so we are going to have 301.714 minus 37.714 37.714 all in centimeters cube yeah so that should give me 264 
cm cube a sector of angle 130 degrees is removed from a thin circular sheet of radius 40 centimeters it is then folded with the straight edges coinciding to form a straight circular cone calculate one the base radius correct to three significant figures two the semi vertical angle three the volume in centimeters cube to two significant figures and our pi is 3.142 so here again we need to draw our shapes my circular sheet and the sector of angle 130 so this part is then folded to form a, a cone the cone has a height a slant height and a radius so here again we need to understand the relationship between the circle and the cone now if you look at the radius of the circle when the sheet is folded to form the cone the radius of the circle has now become the the slant height of the cone the radius the radius of the circle is four the radius of the circle is 40 centimeters so it means that our our l here is 40 and again if you take the distance from here to this point that does not that has now become the circular base circular base of the cone so i need to look for this distance doing that that should give me the angle it makes over 360 times 2 pi r and we said that is the same thing that has formed the circular base so finding the circumference of that circular base 2 pi r now we said they are the same so equal to that's cool now so we now look for as the question says we should look for this small r now if you look at the two formulas the two parts have two pi 2 pi the pi will be the same if you use them at the two sides so what you need to do is to remove this one and remove this so like we cancel them out what you need to do now is to write the formula t the angle times the big r equal to the small r so that becomes the formula to finding the radius of the cone so i will insert the value which is 130 over 360 the big r is 40 the slow become the small r to give you 14.44 14.44 but we are asked to leave our answer in two significant figures leaving the answer in two significant figures the r becomes just 14 the r becomes 14 centimeters The next is to look for the semi vertical angle for the cone so this is the cone i know the radius now to be 14 the slant height is 40 so we have to find this angle this angle here so what you need to do is to take out that part this is 40 this is 14 so this angle now applying applying the cosine rules sine of the angle is equal to opposite of the angle over the hypotenuse that's 14 over 40 so sine of the angle equal to 14 over 40 so the angle is the sine inverse The sine inverse of 7 over 20. So my angle is there 40.487. So the next is to find the volume of the cone, which is 1 third pi r squared h. But there is no height in our question. We don't know the height. So we need to first of all find the height of the cone. So 
this cone has a height the radius is 14.4 and the slant height is 40 so applying Pythagoras theorem 14.4 40 my height so applying the Pythagoras theorem I have 40 squared to be h squared plus 14.4 squared so 40 squared is 1600 h squared and then 14 squared 207.36 so i will bring that here to subtract okay 92.64 what you need to do here is to square root both sides take the square root of both sides so our height is when you take the square root of both sides our height is going to be 37 37.3 centimeters so we can now find our volume to be one third pi which is 142 the radius which is degrees 0.4 squared and our height is now 37.3 so that in all should give you 8106 8100.629 cm cube but we were asked to leave our volume in two significant figures so two non-zero numbers so that would be 8100 centimeters cube